Let's get over there. The sun is shining, the shades are on. Let's show you what's been going on. So we've just done a uh, last little bit of purchasing because uh, obviously the week that we were away the daughter where she was supposed to be watering in here forgot so we lost basically almost everything that was in there. Um, we managed to salvage a few little bits and bobs and we've just done our last little bit of spending. So um, what have we got there? Uh, some Scarlet Emperor broad beans, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six for a pound. You can't argue with that, can you? Um, some replacement sweet corn. So one, two, three, four, five for a quid. And a nice little tomato plant that um, we're gonna be giving to Mike Kev. So uh, uh, he's gonna go into a pot. So uh, we'll stick him into a better pot and uh, get a good old root system on it. And Kim's got all her uh, stuff for her hanging baskets. And that's all come from um, Mayfield Nurseries. So if you're local and you've not been down there yet, get yourself down there because it's, uh, it's charity based and um, everything is cheap as chips. As I say, you know what I mean? A quid for all that sweet corn. So smashing. So the tomatoes are looking good. Um, anyway, that's enough of that. Hi, Kim. Oh, bloody hell, Kim. All right. Hello. Yeah, you've uh, been poorly, haven't you? Yeah. What's going on? It's got a swollen foot. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, enough of that. So we're on the new plot, and yesterday uh, we had some. All runner beans to go in. So I thought I'd uh, build a frame, add it all up and lovely, all the wire attached and all lovely. And then this morning, her, her made me dismantle it so she could use the metal for her hanging baskets. So she's in my bad book. Look at her. I think she needs to pay me back now. How's your hanging baskets? They look lovely, don't they? Lovely. So now what's happened with the run of beans? You're going to make something again. Out of what? You may find your hanging baskets just on the floor. They'll be ground baskets. Huh. Yeah, so that's what she's done. Looks nice, I suppose. Just got the... Just in case the old limbo dancing deer try to get under there. Just got to finish off there, but... Got a fence painted up to there now, Kev. And now to cut the grass. Yeah, you're watering it all in. How many flowers have you? No, they're in. They've got to come up yet. Got to come up? Yeah. Don't ask me what they were, I don't know. Ah, okay. Right. See you in a minute. So, oh, there you go, Kev. Right, mate. Your radishes are doing well. And the carrots, eh? Well, that's not a carrot. Oh, we'll get him out later on, but yeah, look at them. Doing well, mate. See? See? You can do it. Uh, different. We've got some uh, more broad beans we put in. So, uh, obviously, once we've exhausted that crop, we'll be into our second one, hopefully. Uh, what else is different since the last video? Uh, oh, as I said earlier on, the, uh, the broad beans that we had there, sorry, runner beans, um, 
I just have to leave that netted so the deer don't get to it. And then uh, did little, 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 get some um, some metal poles, I think. I'll have to go and get some. <sighs> oh, all the uh, pallets have been moved. Um, I've put the, the metal that I'm going to be keeping over there. Uh, just there. That's going to go to the skip. Uh, I'll be keeping the these from Kim's old chair. There we have used. But I got rid of all that big pile of rubbish. Remember that was here. So the big pile of rubbish is gone. So I've managed to move all the pallets up to here. So I'm going to start um, taking them to bits uh, in the next couple of weeks uh, to get all the wood off them. And then it's project shed. So best pallets that I've got where the uh, the old slats are all close together uh, are going to be the base um, yeah that, that, that is the same as this pallet so I um, I pulled them that was the, the the old fence so I can easily put them back so I've polythened underneath it uh, that great big mountain of saw that I had there I've been trying to level it out so I let it settle um, lift up the pallets again and get it all nice and level and then we'll secure the base together and then we shall build. So what have we got? We've got a, um, it's gonna be a six foot by, uh, what's that, four, eight foot, it's about, it's about 11 foot, 10 foot, six foot by 10 foot. Um, I don't know what I'm not gonna do with this bit. I know, like I said, I was gonna turn it into a bed. Um, but I think there's more I can do with a greenhouse. So I may, like I say, have the, a bed, a bed, when we get rid of that, it's going to be a big bed in the corner, and then all that down there is going to be a bed. Central path, as I keep mentioning, and who knows, I might put a greenhouse there, big greenhouse, uh, which would be nice, I think, and then we can really keep growing. So Kim's flower garden bit's now coming on. You've done well in your babes. So she's been plotting all her plants, I've uh, dug it all over and cut the grass for her. Just got this bit to do. Um, it's quite difficult because the pear tree roots are up at the surface. Um, so uh, I'll get all that stuff out and then lightly turn it over. But yeah, give me this little flower bit, it's looking quite nice. Whoa! What the hell was that? You're trying to kill my garden. Sorry. Yeah, it's looking good. Just got to cut this, got all this out of me here. Sort all out. Oh, and have I started on the little bit of fence here. So this is going to be the new fence. Um, it's a bit easier to build. Eh, as you can see with an amber and nails in. I don't know. It looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's going on there then? Yeah, you can visually see that. Oh god. Right, so job to do. Yeah, I've not had the camera running because I've been uh, top off. And I'm not doing a uh, bluster day, naked, uh, naked gardener. I'm not doing that. It's bad enough, I've got my shorts on and my little white legs. So, um, we're going to crack on and do some watering. And uh, that'll be it for the day, don't you think? In a good six, seven hours. Six hours? Six hours? By the time we, um, Probably be a bit just after five, so six hours. That's enough. Right. Catch you later on. Bye-bye, kid. Bye-bye.